Hello, hello, my name is Manuel Leon and I am a senior digital marketing strategist at Design106, a full digital marketing agency focused solely on helping business owners and businesses like yours to grow in the digital marketing world and increase their revenue. Today we're going to talk about the million dollar question, which is how long does it take to SEO my website? But first things first, make sure you subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribing button, click the notification bell in order to never miss a single video, and if you have questions, comment in the comment box below. Now let's get to it. So one of the most common questions that we get from our clients and from people on social media is how long is it going to take for my website to rank on Google or how long is it going to take to SEO on my website? Although I would love to provide you guys with a specific answer, the truth is that there is not an actual time frame that works for everybody. SEO is a never ending job, it's a never ending endeavor. Why? Because it's always changing. It's changing according to the content, it's changing according to the niche, it's changing according to the Google algorithm, and it's something that requires constant and consistent work. However, there are certain things that you can take into consideration in order to kind of like get an expectant time frame of how long your strategy can take into providing real results. Let's go over those aspects right now. So while it might take some businesses to achieve certain goals in just a couple months, it might take some other businesses to achieve the same goals in a much longer time. And the reason for this is that SEO is not something that happens overnight. It really requires a bunch of different tasks and work that according to how fast you can make them happen, your campaign will kickstart sooner or later. Now, like I mentioned, there are several factors that you need to consider when you are starting an SEO campaign in, and these factors can give you a little bit of a clue on how long it's going to take for your campaign to take off. Now, the first one of these factors is your competition. Remember that it doesn't matter where you start with SEO, if you're starting, you are already competing with other businesses within your niche that might be doing SEO for longer than you are. So keep in mind that the longer they've been doing it, the more ranking they will have, which means that you have to create more content and create more consistent work within your own strategy in order to basically take them down. The next factor that you have to consider is your budget. Like I've mentioned before in other videos, a big part of your SEO plan is how much are you willing to spend into your SEO strategy. When I mean spending, I'm not referring only to money, but I'm also referring to time. Because let's say you are a very established company who is just starting to do SEO, you might have the budget to hire a good SEO copywriter to constantly create content. So the more content you put out there, the faster your campaign is going to go. But let's say you don't really have the money budget to do that, then you might have the time budget, which means that if you want, you can actually sit down and write this content yourself, optimize it, but like I mentioned before, it requires a lot of consistent work. So budget, it's really something that you have to consider and it's super important when you want to determine how long your SEO strategy is going to take, whether that budget is money or whether that budget is time. The reality is that the more budget that you have, money or time, the faster your campaign is going to take off. So another one of the aspects that you have to consider when planning your SEO campaign and how long it's going to take to take off, uh, it's basically domain authority. So what is the domain authority? It's just a number from one to hundred that we assign to certain domains to understand how long have they been published, right? So for example, if you are just starting with a new website, brand new website, it's going to take some months before the page even realizes its SEO potential. If you have a website that is already published, even if you haven't done any SEO work in X amount of months or X amount of years, just the fact that your domain is published and that it has had some traffic will give it a certain um, number of authority. Now, four to six months is a good time frame to think about for a new website that is just starting, assuming that the competition is moderate and that you're actually doing consistent SEO work. Inbound links. Let's talk about inbound links for a little bit. So inbound links are links that come to your website or that direct to your website from other websites 
or links that go out from your website to third-party websites. Now, these are very important because they create a nice engagement between different sites that are along the same niche or the same industry. Obviously, they should be related websites. So if you, for example, have an ice cream shop, you're not gonna have inbound links to a car shop, right? You're gonna have them going to maybe the website where they produce the cones for your ice cream or the chocolate chips or the people who produce the chocolate chips they will go they're going to link back to your website as one of their feature partners or something like that so google takes with a lot of importance how these links connect to each other and how relevant they are to each other the reason why this is influential for the overall time frame of your seo campaign it's because those links don't happen automatically. You have to actively reach out to the people on these other websites to ask them uh, to put your link on their sites and vice versa. A good way to achieve this is by guest posting, right? So you can write content that can be featured in other people's websites and vice versa. But this requires a lot of work and a lot of inter-exchange between the parties. So as fast or as slow as you can do this, the same is going to apply for your SEO campaign timeframe. It's gonna run as fast or as slow as you're able to find inbound links. The next factor that you have to consider is content. We all heard the phrase, content is king. And it is. The reality is that content is king, especially for SEO purposes. You cannot rank your website if you do not write content that is valuable to your audience, not to the Google bot. A lot of people made the mistake of creating content crafted for Google and not for their audience. But believe me, Google is smart enough to know when you're trying to cheat around it. So you can write tons and tons of articles every single day. If none of your content is valuable, if none of those articles are uh, crafted around your audience, your industry, and your niche, your website grow and your Google ranking is going to be much lower than if you write less amount of copy, less amount of articles, but with much more quality level. So keep that in mind. It's about consistency and quality and not quantity. The last factor I want to talk about that you have to consider when you're trying to determine a time frame for your SEO campaign is your proper website structure. A lot of people think that SEO is just a job that you can start, you can begin with any website. And it's not true. A lot of things influence how your SEO overall consistency is going to act. Why? Because depending on how your website structure is, is laid out, your audience is going to click certain things or they're going to be driven to certain parts of your website and they're going to engage more or less with your site overall. This is an important factor for Google to determine if people are actually spending time on your website, how long are they spending on, on each page and what type of content they're looking at. So keep in mind this. For these and all of these other factors that I just spoke about, SEO time frame is very difficult to determine because it requires a lot of work. It requires for you to make sure your website is properly set up from the beginning, that your metadata is correct, that you consistently and continuously write content, that you have a budget of time and money, that your link building is on point, and so on and so forth. A good estimate for SEO to work, it's about four to six months, assuming that all these optimization tasks are already in place. So let's say you come with a website that it's already optimized. Your metadata are great, your, your domain ranking has been out and about for a while, so it's decent, and your keyword research is on point, and you're writing content that is good and that is valuable and in a good amount. Well, I will say four to six months, you will start seeing changes in your ranking and definitely you will start seeing changes in your traffic. Now, keep in mind, this really depends on your niche. There might be times where your SEO is not as effective because that's something that might happen in the environment of your industry. For example, during the pandemic, a lot of businesses went with much lower traffic than usual and other businesses that had virtually no traffic increased. The same happens. Things 
around our businesses and our industries change all the time and this is something to consider. But like I said, four to six months is a nice time frame to determine if your SEO campaign is working or not. How do you determine that? Easy, Google Analytics. But that's a topic for a different video. Now, if you think this information was helpful, make sure again you subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell and share, share, share. See you in the next episode.